Throughout history, we, as humans, have used the power of our minds to achieve incredible and amazing feats. In reality, our minds are simply tools we use to create our thoughts. And the quality of our thoughts determines the quality of our experiences. A simple shift in perception will quickly and easily improve how you feel and what you believe is possible. Helping you to achieve all of your personal goals. Even those that previously seemed unattainable. Join us now as we explore the vast landscapes of our minds. This is Mind Over Matter. Good evening, I'm Mitch Friedman, and welcome to Mind Over Matter TV, where we teach you tools and techniques for you to overcome the obstacles in your life, feel better, and reach your goals. And we've got some help for with that tonight. We've got a good friend of mine, Anuradha Gandhi, and she's an Ayurvedic practitioner. And, you know, Ayurveda, I hear about it a lot. I and mean, I'm sure a lot of people have heard about it, but mm -hmm. like, what is that? And what so, does it mean? What does it mean? Yeah. yeah. So when we started talking about it, and I realized that it was a whole lifestyle change mm -hmm. and a way for an easy way for people to step into well being by just changing exactly. the little things in their life. Right. So, yeah, it was so fascinating. <laughs> so thanks so much for being on the show, Anurata. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> so um, one of the things that we talked about, you talked about how, you know, you, this all started back when you were a child, when right. you were a kid. So tell us a little bit about how that all got started for you. Well, my father is East Indian and my mother's American, British mm. and German in ancestry. And they met when my mother was studying abroad in India. And so having my mother be very... Um, very interested in Indian culture. I grew up with that blend of East and West. And so like there were yoga books and there were books on Ayurveda, there was books on homeopathy. And so as a kid, you know, if I got sick, it wasn't, oh, let me take you to the doctor. It's like, let me pull out this kit and see what, you know, what's going to fit the bill. And so I kind of had that sense of like, well, let's figure out what I can do or what, you know, what my mom is going to make for me that's going to make me feel better. Instead of having someone else do that for me all the time. And was yeah. that here in the United States? Yeah, I grew up, up in Florida, uh, Tampa, oh, Florida. Yeah, But I did, my parents did send me to boarding school when I was 16. Because I thought it was time, I was old enough, I needed to really, you know, get a grounding in my culture and my heritage. So um, that was very interesting because then I saw the blend in Indian culture of Western medicine and Ayurveda. And the, how people interact on a day-to-day -day basis with that. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that a little later in the interview about that blend of, of um, you know, we talked about at right. the stir that just the blend of the Ayurvedic with, with regular science and medicine, and yeah. it's all so fascinating. One of the things that we talked about that I really love the way you put this, you said that Ayurveda is the science of the individual. Mm -hmm. I really like that. So tell us a little bit about that. So Ayurveda, the way, as a philosophy and a theory and a way of understanding human bodies and the way we interact with nature, it's that it's really about you as an individual and where your body and the elements and your environment and your circumstances affect you. So then in being treated, those need to be taken into consideration. You know, it's not just one mold that's fit onto each person, it's something that's flexible and adaptable to what is going on in someone's life. Because where I'm at right now is totally different than where I was at five years ago or where you might be right. in six months. And so you need different things at those times. So what would people call you for or use, what would people use Ayurveda for? What, could, what is it good for? What are the benefits? So Ayurveda can be used for a wide range of conditions. Lots of times I see clients that have sleep disorders, digestive problems, um, women have menstrual difficulties. Um, you know, basic stress management, sometimes autoimmune disorders as well that are chronic and long-lasting, um, in addition to just basically wanting more energy, being more mentally clear, emotionally balanced, sometimes, you know, mild cases of depression as well. So pretty much everything. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that just covers the gamut of pretty much everything, which which makes perfect sense because, yeah. like like we talked about, it's really a lifestyle change. So when people change their lifestyle and, like you said, move out of that stress and out of that sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight, mm -hmm. just by changing certain things right. in their lifestyle and get get them more into that parasympathetic, that relaxing, they're already beginning to heal. You know, their yeah. body is already having that opportunity to heal. So Definitely. so what would that look like? If somebody called you up, you know, and, and wanted to have a session with you, mm -hmm. what would it look like? So if the, someone came to me based on what they need, I would definitely really want to go through and understand where their life is at. You know, like what, it's important to understand when something started or, you know, oftentimes we overlook when we start feeling bad and those triggers and what's going on in our life is really important so that we can find ways to manage that stress or find, you know, change those circumstances or, oh, I've been eating something and then I started having like excessive bloating. Well, you know, maybe we can not eat that or find a better <laughs> substitute for it. So oftentimes it's really about me understanding where the client's at, doing a full assessment of their lifestyle and what they're eating when they sleep so that we can go in and tweak those things. And I, I take people's pulse, you know, look at their tongue, look at their eyes, you know, all these like kind of physical characteristics. But a lot of it is important that someone in their own words tell me where they're at. And then and then I can gauge, you know, where, where we need to start. What doorway do we need to go in? And, you know, I know people have this thing that change is so difficult and it's yeah. so hard. <laughs> and, and I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm joking about it, but really... It keeps people from moving forward, from, from doing things that will get them more of the outcome that they're wanting in their right. lives. So, so when are you asking people to make these huge changes in their life that, that are going to be so overwhelming that it, it is going to be difficult? Or are these simple things that people can do to just have a different outcome? Right. It's really simple and it's like baby steps, it's little by little. And I know from my personal experience, like I didn't just all of a sudden, you know, start eating fabulous healthy food and exercising every day like that didn't happen overnight it was just one step at a time like maybe you need to start eating or maybe you need to start moving I mean everyone has a different place where they need to start but when you find that sweet spot of where you can be like I think I'm ready to make a change there then you can make that change and then the other one's gonna you know it'll keep like overlapping into like all of a sudden you'll wake up and you'll be like wow I didn't realize I'm so fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I love that. I am fabulous. Yeah, which is really, you know, yeah. I know in the work that I do in, in the hypnotherapy sessions, no matter what the outcome is, they lose the weight, they feel better, they, yeah. they um, you know, whatever it is, they quit smoking, they yeah, have more self-esteem, they can talk in public, but what I hear most often always is, yeah, all that stuff is really cool, and I know that's what I came <laughs> to you for, but I feel so happy. Yeah. You know, the, the best part about it is I feel so happy I feel fabulous I'm, I'm great yeah yeah it's so, not like I'm good I'm fine no I'm great so and good. again it doesn't you know what I'm hearing you say is it's just baby steps making little changes making choices right. that are going to move them towards whatever their goal is whether it's about sleeping better or letting go of excess weight or yeah. you know I know digestion is a really big thing you know for people so just making yeah. those little changes it's amazing what the outcome is, you know. Definitely. So tell me a little bit, I know we talked a little bit about your personal story. You started mm -hmm. saying, you know, I know that you had like made different choices and like let go of right. like 25 pounds or 30 pounds. Yeah. You said. yeah. And I was, it was, I was going through, this was before I went, it was in my Ayurveda program. I was going through a very stressful time in my life. And then it was one of those times where someone had taken a picture and they're like, oh, here. And I was like, that's me? And I was so upset because I didn't realize that the weight, you know, that it was that much weight or that I just didn't feel good in my own body. And I was like, I got to do something, you know. And so I fell back on those things that I knew from my childhood. All right, what do I, if I want to move, how do I need to move? All right, let's try some yoga. Like, let's go biking, you know, let's dance. And so I just started doing things that my body naturally gravitated towards that just felt good to me. And you know what I love about what you said is that, and this seems to be a way to get a really quick and easy outcome, because I know, and let go of the struggle, is you said, 
I set my intention. I didn't. I had suffered enough, so to yeah. speak. I, I I saw that picture and I thought I don't want to be that anymore. So yeah. what do I want instead? And then started asking, mm -hmm. what do I need to right. do to feel better? And then just follow your intuition and let it be easy. Mm -hmm. I love 